Common Rider X Aid. <laughs> Episode 18, review slash reaction by yours truly, Mecha Slash. Now, let's get started. Holy fucking shit. This episode might as well have been called Common Rider Denim. Oh my fucking god. This guy. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. It's just been so long because I've seen scummy swag to this extent in a writer show. I mean, this is like some early Neo Heisei tier scummy shit we're talking. I mean, this guy. Literally, from the start of the episode to the very end, is swagging, being a complete piece of shit, and just embracing it. Like, if there was any of him, if there was, like, any of this scummy swag that he was holding back before now, it's definitely, he's just decided to cut loose from that shit, and was like, look, I'm going all out. I was like, holy fucking shit. I had a feeling from this preview that it would be like this, but this completely... Oh, just fucking blew my mind. Like, my boy sent me a fucking screenshot of him going, I'm probably gonna use, I'm probably gonna use this as a thumbnail too, because it's pretty hilarious. And he's like, don't you talk back to the game master. I was like, dead? I woke up to that picture. I was like, oh, what's going on, man? I got a message on my phone from Discord. I look at that shit. I'm like, ah, what the fuck? And I knew from that that I was in for a lot for Exit. But, fortunately, it was a lot more than I anticipated. I mean, god damn. So, he used one of the buckshots as a fucking decoy so he could get ammo away and steal Tiger's gashets. He, or gashets, whatever the fuck. I literally have no way, no way of knowing how to say this shit in English because it's not like anybody ever used that word in real life anyway, at least they don't usually, unless Common Rider Chronicles actually real and I gotta start getting ready for that shit. By the way, the ultimate plan, Common Rider Chronicle, I'm all for that shit, boy. Cause it legit sounds like fucking Common Rider Ryuki, and that's my shit, as you all know. So, that was pretty intense. I gotta say, I wasn't expecting that, but yeah, Common Rider Chronicle <laughs> being like a survival game for all of Rider, for all of, like for all the civilians become riders and they fight to the death. I was like, holy fucking shit, that sounds just like Ryuki. I'm hoping Chronicle gets completed. I thought Ganon was gonna die this episode, but it turned out that he just got his ass kicked by uh, Paradox or whatever. That dude beat the ever-loving shit out of him. I didn't know it was possible to fuck up fucking Dangerous Zombie, but I guess he used like three power-ups and he was already super strong punching the shit out of this dude. I was like, damn, get fucked. I thought he was dead. And then, you know, he was like, all right, I got my ass beat. But like any scumbag, sore-ass loser, I'm taking everybody down with me. Oh, Amu, guess what, son? You got the game disease. I was like, oh, shit. Now, of course, they ruined that in the preview. Just like they ruined my boy, Kujo Kiria's death in the previews. However, it somehow doesn't take down the quality of the show. Like, despite the previews going out of their way to tell you what's gonna happen, it's still like, when it was happening, I was at the fucking front of my seat like, oh shit, it's happening. He's finally gonna tell him. And it was a really well done scene. You got Tiger and uh, Hero like getting all emotional because they don't want him to know, obviously, because he's gonna disappear. And the episode ends with fucking Emu going crazy because he's like putting, he's like, no way, you're just lying. And it's like really cool because it's a reveal we've known about for weeks, and yet the reveal for Emu himself was still really well done because X8 somehow is just so fucking good. It's just too good. I don't know. I don't really even know what to say. Like this is probably one of the best Rider episodes I've fucking seen. And oh my god. Oh get him. At first I, I wanted this dude gone. I still kind of do, but with the fucking reaction faces he's been he gave us this ep this week in this episode. I don't know, man. I, I, honestly, I, I, I might want him to stick around a little bit longer, especially if he fucking completes Common Rider Chronicle. I could get down with that shit. Maybe this this guy, maybe this guy needs to stick around for a little bit longer. I, I wanted him dead because he, he killed my boy. He killed Bur Burger Mom. Wasn't feeling it. But he's given me he's given he's given me my payback with the entertainment that he's delivering. And quite frankly, the show might just only improve with him being around. So. No reason to get rid of him just yet. I mean, if he's this charismatic and hilarious and funny and evil and scumbaggy, then, you know, maybe there's benefits to having him around. You know, everybody hated Kusaka Masato or whatever, but, you know, it really made Fai's memorable because he was so scummy and shitty and all the reaction faces with the grin and smiling. Oh, man, I lost my shit entirely when, when Nico was like, 
running up to the <laughs> to get him, and he, all he does is just give her like this creepy ass grin. It's like the show knows how disgusting and filthy and how absolutely scummy this guy is, and it's just running with it. So that's great. I'm hoping it keeps up this pace. I mean, honestly, I did not expect. I cannot believe we are only 18 episodes in. It does not feel like that at all. It feels like it's like episode 30, episode 35 or some shit. This show's gonna be like 50 episodes or 48 episodes long. How much better can it get? And you know, that would usually be cause for concern for me, but I was wrong about x so I'm not gonna even worry about it. Hell, probably gonna come up with some more shit to make me love it some more, so. That's my review for the week. Pretty fucking crazy episode. I'd honestly rank it about well, number one, or he's either the first or the second best episode of the show so far. And my boy Hero, I actually like Hero. Now, at first I didn't like him, you know, he's usually, he was the usual uh, fucking, you know, jerk ass secondary writer, but he's coming around and I got a little bit of emotional anger to lie when he was over here talking about how he wants to save his boy Emu. I was like, damn, that's some real shit. He's a, he's a boy, he wants to save him. And even Tiger's not even being scum anymore. He's, he cares about the guy. It's like, holy shit. I hated you fuckers at the start of the show, but now you're actually becoming likable people. And I'm hoping that you don't get killed off by Genom next, but you know, you don't have any gadgets, so you know, it should be alright. But you know, apparently, Hero's here, got a new form coming next week, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, those are my thoughts. Amazing show still. I I know we're like week three into me reviewing this or whatever, but I, I just cannot get over how damn good X8 is. I mean, it still blows my fucking mind. So, on that note, <laughs>